Good morning, and, or good afternoon, whatever it might be, wherever you are. Uh, welcome to the verse of the day on this 21st of 2020. Okay, we're going to do things a little different this week. Um, not just going to read one verse, I'm going to read up probably a little bit, bit of a passage from different portions of the Christmas story. Um, I may or may not uh, reflect on it. I don't know, depending on whether what it says does something. Else. I don't know which portions. Uh, I'm going to just try and start at the beginning and make our way through to the end. Uh, so hopefully you will enjoy this. So they might be a tad longer. And of course, today's passage will be coming from Luke chapter 1, verses 11 through 17. Um, so, set up is Zechariah the priest has went into what I think a lot would refer to the Holy Holies because it was uh, his section, sec, his part, uh, his, I'm not sure what, how best to describe it. Um, but I know it does probably a little above this. Um, and he's going into the Holy Father to like the, you know, incense and all that, which is his duties. Um, so, and this is what entails, but partly, there's more afterwards, uh, a little bit, okay, so, then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense, but when Zechariah saw him, he was startled and gripped with fear, but the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, your prayer has been heard, your wife, will be your wife Elizabeth, will bear a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and a delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord, for he is never to take wine or other firmament drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God, and he will go before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn hearts, the hearts of parents to their children, and the disobedient to wisdom of the righteous, to make ready the ready a people prepared for the Lord. Okay, so technically there's probably a lot to unpack in this, if we want to, you know. Uh, obviously, Zachariah and his wife, Elizabeth, have been praying many years. Um, I guess you could say don't give up on your prayers. Keep praying. Yeah, I'm not even sure whether he would have given up because he and his wife were um, very, they were old. Yeah, as it's about, you know, Zachariah's going to say later on, he's like, hey, you know, we're not really spring chickens here. <laughs> Uh, how the heck is this possible? And of course, he gets uh, becomes mute for you know the pregnancy, and gets unmuted uh, at the birth of his son John. Um, so I guess there's something when an angel of God comes to you and tells you something, you better. Do Hard, well, believe it. Otherwise, there could be some dire consequences. <laughs> um, you know, and it's amazing here. Uh, and this happened even with Samson. You know, uh, he was given the thing of the uh, what was it? office of the. Uh, I know the word, but you know, even before John's born. He can't, and have, he's told he can't have alcohol. Could you imagine that before you're even born, this stuff is made up for you? 
you know, everybody else around you can drink. But because, you know, you're, I guess you're special at that point, you can't drink. In some ways it would suck. <laughs> but, you know, he had a very, God had a plan for him. And, you know, that can be with some of us too. Maybe that's some ways why we, some of us have problems. Or maybe we have things we're not supposed to do, although should we know about them at all? Um, you know, and that, you know, God, God will prepare. Now, will God always prepare the way for everybody? That's hard to say for whatever, but that could be something that you can get out of this. Uh, if God has something for you to do, he will prepare the way for you. Okay, well, I know this has been a bit long, but there is today's, I don't know what our next segment will be tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to go bit by bit to the Christmas story, the events of Christmas. And of course, you know, Christmas, we sell, we take the time out to celebrate Christ's birth. It doesn't mean it was on the 25th, you know, but it's not about the day. It's about the action of celebrating that Christ came to earth and to redeem us, you know. Be born as one of us. That's why we celebrate the day. You know, it's an arbitrary day. The day doesn't matter. It's why we're doing what we're doing for it. Anyways, later. All God bless. Thank you for watching the verse of the day. Uh, hopefully you liked this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share. Also. We have a playlist for a bunch of verses of the day that we've done over the years. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, check out our other Bible-based programs. Hope you liked them all. Thank you for tuning in. Bye for now. God bless.